Mr. Speaker, I rise today to speak about a matter that is critical to the future security of not only the United States, but to our allies in international security. Yesterday, the President announced a nuclear agreement had been reached between Iran and six other nations led by the United States. Throughout these negotiations, I have been skeptical of the concessions made by this administration to Iran, despite its history of dangerous and defiant behavior. Iran is the world's leading state sponsor of terrorism and has consistently shown a pattern of noncompliance. I have serious concerns this deal will fail to prevent a nuclear Iran while rewarding the Iranian government and their past actions with billions of dollars of sanctions relief. As Congress continues to evaluate the deal, I believe we must reject any agreement that further bolsters the Iranian regime, endangers our allies, especially Israel, and fuels instability in the region. Far too much is at stake, at stake to accept a bad deal that puts the security of our nation in our fight to combat violent extremism at greater risk. Mr. Speaker, how can you have a deal with someone you can't trust? I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman's time has expired. For what purpose does the gentleman from California